What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the channel. Today I'm playing a little bit of Call of Duty Ghosts. I have a good time in this game. I went pretty good with my KD and uh, I think probably the most important thing of Call of Duty is having a good time kicking ass. So that's what I'm doing here. Hope you guys enjoy this footage. But this video is about something a little bit different. This video is about the game that's being released today. It is The Last of Us Remastered for PlayStation 4. Now the reason I'm making this video is I'm going to be picking this game up today. As you guys probably know, I enjoyed The Last of Us to no end. But I was uh, doing a little bit of networking today on my Google Chats, Hangouts, talking to a lot of different people. I got to kind of feel around and see what the general consensus was for this game. And I got to tell you, I, I found an overwhelmingly positive uh, group of people who want to see this game, who want to experience this game. But I'm not going to sit and pretend that I didn't see a plethora of negative as well. There are a lot of people who do not want this game. There are a ton of people who are not excited about this game. Uh, a majority of them, I have to say, are Xbox fans, and I feel that a lot of these guys are upset because a game this good is coming out and they can't get it. So, uh, you know, it's like meeting a pretty girl in school, and then you find out she's outside of your reach, and then you start talking about it to all your buddies because you know she can never be yours. These people take a very emotional stance on being a fanboy. I think if you're a fanboy and you got something legit or something, you know, some kind of facts you can back up, there's nothing wrong with it. But when you start saying crazy stuff like The Last of Us played terrible on the PS3, the 30 frames per second was so bad it broke the game, stuff like that that I saw today, that Sony is just doing everything they can to rehash old games because they don't want to make new ones, it just comes across like a pathetic fanboy and I just think we all need to grow up and accept certain things. It's elementary that The Last of Us deserves a lot of acclaim. It got a lot of acclaim. It won over 200 Game of the Year awards. And, uh, you know, not many games have had that kind of accolade. So it's like everybody in China is not wrong about rice. But I want to talk to you guys about some of the reasons that I'm excited about this game and some of the reasons I think others are excited about this game. And at the end of this video, I want you guys to like it and I want you to comment and let me know what you think. Is this game worth picking up? Do you think it's just more fan service? Do you think they're making it just to be cheap and cash in on a great game? Do you see the benefit of this game at all? Now, i got a few points I want to make. The first point that I want to make with The Last of Us Remastered is this. There are a lot of people coming to the PlayStation 4 who previously did not own PlayStation consoles. There are people right now who, come, who are coming from the Wii, from the Wii U, who own the PS4 and they play that as their predominant system. There's a ton of people who, who played Xbox 360 last generation exclusively and who have jumped ship to the PlayStation 4. Now for these people, I think The Last of Us is a great benefit. I think those people last generation knew about The Last of Us and never had an opportunity to play it and now that they actually can get their hands on it I think it's a blessing for all those guys I think that Naughty Dog did a, a great service for people like that the people who never had a chance to play it and you might be one of them comment and let me know uh, there are people who've been playing Halo who've been playing Gears of War and have been hearing about The Last of Us for the last year and never had a chance to experience it and so those people I think is probably the best value also they did a shitload of things in the remastered edition that weren't included with the original edition. I'm going to go through a couple of them off the top of my head. They uh, increased the frame rate from 30 frames per second to 60 frames per second. Uh, and uh, Digital Foundry did a video on it. You guys can YouTube that and check it out. The game runs smooth at 60 frames. It's 1080p also. So they up res the resolution from 720p to 1080p and it's running in a smooth 60 frames per second which is very good I mean the gunplay the fights the fights are so you know smooth now that it looks great and, and I think that's a great thing for anybody who wants to experience this game in a whole new light enhanced textures the game looks more beautiful and robust you can see tons of detail in the character models you can see tons of detail in the environment and uh, I think you know for people who played the game and want to see it optimized like myself that's a great benefit Naughty Dog included this new photo mode which allows you to take pictures of the environment. These pictures in the environment have filters and you can see the images you take through different filters like it's a real camera. Kind of similar to what they did in Infamous Second Son. I think that's a great value. There's tons of DLC that previously you had to pay for that comes stacked with the remastered version. You get all the DLC maps for the, the multiplayer as well as the Left Behind DLC which is Ellie and her friend um, I can't remember her name, uh, Riley. It's their DLC together, and for the people who never had a chance to play that prequel DLC, now you got an opportunity to play it. The game is only $50 now, it's not 60 
So with a $50 version of the game, that's $10 less than you would have spent on a full-fledged new release. And on top of that, GameSpot, uh, GameStop is giving you $25 for your PS3 version, so you can actually pay half price if you go to the right place. And so I think it's a great value. I want to I know what my subscribers think. I want you guys to comment down in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Is this game worth buying? Do you think that it's a waste of time? Like some people on, you know, on the chats today were saying that it's a waste of time to continue to rehash old games. I think it's great. I think it's a benefit to a lot of gamers. You guys let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button and smack that subscribe button so you can check out some of the other great content on this channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.